Hello, good evening everyone. This is Alex from MarketWise Asia. Today it is the 2nd of August 2023, a Wednesday evening. So once again, thank you so much for being here and being on time. We are just a few minutes away from 8 p.m. I think there'll be more people who will be streaming in, okay? Just a quick show of hand, make sure that everything is okay, right? Can you guys hear me uh, loud and clear? If you can hear me loud and clear, please say a hi to me in the chat box so that I know that <laughs> everything is good. Okay, right now we have about 80 plus, 100 people coming in very soon. Say a hi to me in the comments in the channel so that everything, oh, everything is okay. Huh? Hello, Chen Hong, Alice, Kim Chua. Hey, Mark. Okay. Uh, Darius, uh, the session is recorded. Okay. But of course, the best experience is live. Lah, okay. Later. Okay. Uh, fantastic. Okay. Candy, Jenny, Joseph, EK, uh, Wheeling. Okay. All right. So, uh, by the way, uh, some of you, the chat it is sent to only the host and panelists. Okay. So, if you want everybody, you know, to see your chat, please send to everyone okay in the in the chat box you can send to everyone because there are a lot more people actually say hi to me in the in the chat like just that y'all cannot see because it's only sent to the host and panelists only okay hello kelly all right good to see everyone i mean that actually actually uh jay is here already just that you know he, he went to the bathroom over here hey, jay, jay is back Okay, Jay is back. Okay, hey, yeah, since 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 Jay is back, okay, just a, a quick show of hand, right? How many of you actually you know uh attended the in person the market insights training festival that was held last Saturday weekend? If you if you were there, okay, just type the letter one in the comments in the chat box. Just type the letter one in the comments. Uh remember to send to host uh send to everyone instead of host and panelists, huh? Uh, we can see the response coming. Thank you so much, right? So it was actually a fantastic, you know, session, right? You know, a um, lot of content insights from the speakers. And of course, okay, the goodie bag from IG, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, you no, know, Jay, can I say hi to everyone first? Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello, Alex. <laughs> yes, good. It was great, okay? Yeah, yeah, so okay, Pei Wen, Pei Wen, Pei Wen, are you a Malaysian, right? That's why you, you, you asked me about whether you know, it was recorded and for Malaysia. Is it something like this? Please I believe you are evening. not Singaporean. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, uh, yeah, after three years, right, this, this is the first time we held a kind of a hybrid session. So there was a virtual and the in-person. Yeah, so it is actually quite amazing, okay, that actually... You no, know, 300 people actually came for the event. I, I told Jay actually, you know, wow, I was very stressed before the event. I cannot sleep well the time because like, you know, I know the event is there, but we always just have the fear that you know, nobody will come for the event, even though we prepare a lot of things. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, Jay and Alex. Jay in red. Uh, used to Friday night live until not used to morning. <laughs> yes, I'm in red and not, not in black. <laughs> okay, all right. So, uh, yeah, so... Jay is in red. He's in, in the mood for the uh, National Day Parade. Hey, by the way, for those who were at the event last other day, do you know that you know Jay actually stayed outside for the whole day? He came for the event. He was the first speaker in the morning at, at 10 a.m. All right. And then after the event is over, he continued to stay with us throughout. And okay, after the event is over, around 5 plus or 4 plus, he went off for the National Day rehearsal, NDP parade. Huh? So, yes. <laughs> yeah. So I think it was a damn tiring day for 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 him. Uh. Okay. Just yeah. just in case lah. Okay? So in case you don't know uh. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> awesome audience uh. Okay. So yeah. uh, without further ado, let's kick start the session. I think there'll be more people who are streaming in. There'll be right now. There's about hundred and thirty people. Okay. So uh yeah. So today's session. Do you do you guys know what you are here for or not? Okay. I believe today will be another great session from Jay. Of course, you think that this is a yoga class, then you are. Obvious, obvious <laughs> class. Okay, this is a trading and investing webinar, not a yoga class. Huh? So today, uh, Jay will be sharing with you, okay, thriving in the face of the uh, rising Federal Reserve rate. And in this, you know, uh, session, uh, Jay will share with you, you know, uh, how to position yourself amid the deepest yield curve inversion in the last uh, decade. Okay, and whether it is still a very good decision to invest in the 
AI stocks and also he will share with you, Jay will share with you the uh, winning strategy okay, with a remarkable 70% win rate that you can take advantage of. And for those you know, who are new to Jay, okay, just a quick show of hand here. How many of you do not know Jay? If you're the first time you are seeing Jay, okay, just type the letter N, new, uh, new, type letter N in the comment. You are new to Jay, just type letter N. It's the first time you have not attended the virtual session, you have not attended the in-person session, and this is the first time. Wow, quite, actually, quite a few, huh? Yeah. Interesting, quite a few. All yeah, right, I'm so, Julie, okay, I think it is your job to tell them why is your hair so high later. So, I'll leave the job <laughs> to you later. So, I'll just do a very quick introduction of Jay over here. So, with a keen, keen interest in trading and investing, right, Jay actually follow his passion and embark on his trading journey okay, in 2029 and reading dozens of trading books and attending uh, numerous trading programs. He actually found consistency and has been trading independently for the last 14 years and has been trading the uh, market actively since you know, 2011 and is well-versed in equities, you know, options and index trading. And having traded each of these uh, market extensively, he built his you know, trading philosophy on the concept of consistency and today, I mentioned, right, for those who just came in, he will share with you, okay, the uh, strategic navigation, okay, thriving in the face of rising Federal Reserve rate. And uh, Jay, I will hand over the stage to you. So Great. later, there will be Q&A. So hopefully, you know, uh, I will come back again, okay, and, and we'll discuss more about the markets later, okay? All right. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. See you later in a while. And guys, have fun with Jay and ask about his tall hair later. <laughs> no, ask about why I wear red color. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. So can I have a check if all of you can see my screen? If you can hear me, if you can see me, can you just help me type hello in the chat once again? Awesome. And I can see that uh, some, while well, some of you are new, most of you, I think I see some familiar names over there. And yeah, it's great to see all of you. And last weekend, it's good to uh, meet up some of you in person as well, because all this while we have been doing this virtually, right, for the past three years, since 2020, uh, you've seen me in, in, you know, on camera, but but in real person, I'm like, hey, the, the, the Jay's hair, is it as tall in, in real person? Uh, hopefully, I didn't disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last weekend was fun, Henry. <laughs> okay, so tonight, why are we here? Uh, first and foremost, thank you, uh, Alex, for you know running this uh post summit booster and a wonderful introduction. Uh, you know previously and and I, I luckily this time this time around the the introduction wasn't too uh off the off the charts lah. Sometimes he he will intro until I don't dare to turn on my camera. <laughs> <laughs> like hello, why you intro like that? How I how I come on? I say already, you know. Okay, so my style, right? For those those of you that um are very familiar already, you know what I'm going to say. For those of you that are new, please do me a favor. I never like my sessions, right, to be a one sided or one way presentation because if it's if it's going to be a presentation, well, we could just jolly well record this and then play the video and and then just let it run, right? But because you are here with me live and I'm here with you in person, uh, all but you know, we are on this virtual setting. So let's ask each other questions and I would like to have a conversation with you. Is that okay? If that's okay, can you just help me type the letter C in the chat? C for conversation. Means it's a two-way thing. Yeah, so when I talk to you, you will reply, like, you know, in person, you can acknowledge, like you can nod your head. Yeah, at least I can see. But on Zoom, right? Um, in this webinar setting, I'm unable to see you. Obviously, you can see me. So the only way for me to know that, okay, you are following the point, you have understood what I said, is that you just give me a very prompt reply. So from time to time, I will ask you, are you following type? Yes, type, you know, certain things. Of course, you'll be short, uh, short things for you to type. Lah. You know, I'm not asking you to type one whole paragraph, then obviously nobody's going to reply me, right? So this is my style, and I like to have this uh, proper conversation with you. And today, I would like to... As Alex mentioned, right, uh, how can we thrive in this high interest rate environment and where can our focus be? And should you just be looking at a Magnificent 7 or so-called the FANG Plus stocks? Lah? You know, you got Netflix, Facebook, Google, uh, Microsoft, Apple, etc. Those, those are the Magnificent 7, right? Uh, versus the other basket of stocks. Are there any better alternatives out there? And 
where should our focus be on? So this is on the agenda tonight, which should take us through the next 90 minutes or so. So in the next 90 minutes, can I have your attention? Can I have your participation? And of course, can I have your questions as well? How many of you agree to give me this? If you agree, can you type agree in the chat, please? Great. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. So uh, for those of you that are new to me, right? Okay, those of you that are new to me, uh, this is what I do. Just, just a very quick shout out. Uh, this is what I do. I am a full-time independent uh, trader, which my focus is on the US market. I don't exactly trade uh, the Singapore or the, the, the Hong Kong market. I, I, don't, I don't do it actively. It's only from time to time where I have certain opportunities. Like for example, this month, right, I'm focusing on uh, the banks for Singapore. I know there's a window, there's an H over there. But uh. From day to day, right? Every day in, day out, I'm just looking at the US market. I trade a lot of uh, futures for, for intraday. And my bread and butter is still swing trading uh, on the US stocks itself. Uh. So this is what I do uh, in my home office, which I'm doing this you know, Zoom webinar from now. And that's why you see behind me, right? Uh, the, you can see my bicycle is there, my books, uh, my bookshelf, everything is behind. And this is what I've been doing since... Uh, I think for quite a long time already. Uh, you, do, you, you will never see me on advertisements. You will never see me on YouTube. You will never see me on uh, you know, interrupting your favorite YouTube videos or your, uh, your Facebook feed, right? I don't, I don't do any of that. And uh, what, what, what I do is, uh, you know, sometimes I'll go to uh, the event partners, the brokers, and then I will just share my, my two cents on, on you know, how the market is going. So that's what I do. And that's what we are here today for, right? And today, let's have fun. Uh, let's have some good questions coming the way. Uh, and now, on under under your screen, right, or wh whichever you are watching this from, be it from a tablet or your laptop, right, at the bottom of it, you should be able to see a Q and A section. All right. So if you have any questions, right, besides typing in the chat, I would like you to fill all the questions under the question and answer segment. Is that okay? If that's okay. Can you just tell me type okay in the chats? The reason why is because as so many people type, right? Then one shot later, the, the webinar chat, then, then, then I'll, I might miss your question. So the Q&A section specifically houses all the questions there. So later on in the Q&A segment, we will be able to target some of those, uh, some of those questions over there. Lah. So uh, Chin, can see me on those scammers page? Well, well, like there. Hey, but true enough, uh, there, there are a lot of scammers impersonating, despite me getting the blue tick, right? Uh, there are a lot of my IG profile as well as my Facebook, right? They just change like, double J, like, double T, like, or dot in the middle, underscore somewhere, dash somewhere. <sighs> so irritating. I can't, you, just, you just can't stop them. Like. So it is what it is. So just have to be vigilant. One thing, one thing that you need to know is I will never reach out over social media to ask you to invest in any you know, a uh, ridiculous returns type of investment scheme. Like that's, that's, that's not, I'm not so free to do that. Uh. My team and I will never do this. Okay. Two, those, are, those are too free already. <laughs> okay. So let's begin. Let's begin. And later on, right? Later on, for those of you that are new to me, I can see that there are a lot of community members as well. Later, uh, for those that are new to me, can I also take this time, right, to share with you, should you be, you know, after seeing what I have shared and then uh, you want to take this to the next step, you want to take some, uh, focus some action, uh, you know, focus on the market and take some action on it, right? Can I share with you, just now, right, uh, Alex mentioned 70%, right? No, actually for this year, actually we're very lucky. This year is about 80%. Can I take this time, right, to share with you my 80% win strategy for this year, uh, overall, if you include last year, it's 70 over percent. So can I just take this time to share with you this later on? Is it okay? Can I have your permission to do so? If I can have your permission, can you just type agree in the chats? So if I show you, I share, I share, I share with you all the results. You all can see for yourself. Uh. It's quite interesting. Uh. So, okay. So now let's begin officially. Over here, right, in this market, uh, those of you that have attended on Saturday, and if you are there for my first session, right, because I was the first speaker at 10 a.m. And specifically, besides sharing about the, the, the swing strategy, the SR swing strategy on, on uh, the, the Saturday, Saturday morning itself, I also touch a little bit about the market. So what did I say about the market? 
was it extended and should we chase the market? Those of you that attended, can you help me fill in this blank? Can you tell me what did I say on Saturday? Did I ask, did I say that, hey, we should buy or did I say we should be cautious? Is it buying or being cautious? Which is the favorite, favorite move? In fact, so far, not just, not just Saturday, but uh, the, the summit itself, because then I was, I also participated in the summit. So what did I say? Exactly, extended and cautious, right? Extended and cautious because in the short term, which was also reiterated by uh, Jin Rong from IG. So Jin Rong, who is the speaker after me on Saturday, uh, he is from IG. So he also mentioned that uh, short term, there is some, some extended you know, moves on the market. It's like extremely greedy. La. So back then, right? Some of them or some of you may be scratching your head like, Obviously, this is an uptrend, one, right or not? It's an uptrend. Then why, <laughs> you know, uh, why, 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 why shouldn't I buy this uptrend? Well, I think uh, yesterday, today, today is what today is Wednesday, right? So the past three days, I think uh, it has come down by not a lot, lah, not a lot by one plus percent or so. And today, um, earlier on, now it's down by only 0.5, but earlier on it is as low as uh, for Nasdaq is minus one point something percent. So is it coming? Is it uh is it is it coming? Where 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 are we going with this? Well, that's where uh we are going to discover all, all, all of this and what I think today. La. And uh one more thing I need y'all to note, right? Whatever I share with you tonight is from an education and info informational point of view. Please do not take this as a random buy sell, you know, call that. Uh, like anyhow, just copy without the full context. I think that's very dangerous. That's the most dangerous thing that any trader could do la, with their own money, right? So if you think what I say makes sense, take it into advisement, see how does it fit into your own routine as well. And I think that will serve you far greater than if you were to just randomly, oh yeah, he said short, he said short, buyers you anyhow short. But yeah, when I say buy, or when I say sell, right? Or when I'm leaning towards the long side or the short side, I don't just do it immediately. I'm always waiting for a favorable risk to reward. And that's where the setup, that's where the rules, the trading rule comes in. So can all of you acknowledge this point by typing yes in the chats? It's unimportant. Uh, very important. Uh. <laughs> okay. But so far, I think if you have been following the series of, uh, you know, my webinars and my appearances at, at, uh, with with Alex right with MWA because I, uh, start starting from the January twenty twenty three right. Uh, my bias was that of a bullish market, and at the point of time there was a lot of uncertainty. Just to give you a very quick recap lah. So at the point of time there was a little bit of uncertainty. So therefore right, uh, when I say going long right, you see having seen that that time the uh January the market was like that on the right edge of the screen, having come down from the top. 4,800 and finally find ourselves into 3,800. So we shave off a thousand points. And then to be long there, right? To have that, that, that arguably a little bit controversial call uh, to say that, hey, I'm long there. Uh, it, it seems a bit, uh, it seems a bit audacious like, at that point of time. Like. Uh, but I think in the first half of the year to now, uh, the track record has proven itself. Uh, I reiterate my long call. So the, the, the fact is that the market, uh, the market participants are starting to accept higher prices, which they have been doing. And from the start of year to now, if I were to measure where we were, so I just take somewhere there and somewhere here, like we are up at least about 20% uh, from the starting of the year to now. So why am I bullish? Am I continuously, you know, going to be bullish? Uh, this is where we, we are. I want to discuss this with all of you tonight and I welcome all sorts of questions. If you have any questions, don't ask me how I stuck my head. That's irrelevant. <laughs> ask, me, ask me on the market, ask me on the economics. Uh, then that's where uh, I think we'll have a very fruitful discussion moving forward. Now, looking at this, right, I need you to know this uh, from when I, my approach towards the market, like, how many of you find that you are facing a little struggle, you know, a little bit of struggles and challenges towards achieving consistency in the market. If you are, if you have not been achieving consistency, that means in terms of your trades, your, your how stable it is, the stability, you have not achieved this. Can you just have me type me in the chats? If this is something that has eluded you 
for a while. And if you are new, it's okay. Uh, you may not have a formal structure. And today I want to share with you some of the structure and what are things are considered upon so that you can see how it how it can help to you know formalize some of the things. Lah. So so far only let me see, Kev or uh, Norman. Quick, Joe, Siu Wan, the rest, the rest all stable already, all steady already. <laughs> we like, <laughs> okay. So looking for this consistency, right? What I do, oh, I think uh from my perspective, like, because I interact with a lot of retail traders across the region, not just in Singapore, but also in Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, uh, Thailand, Vietnam as well. Uh, I realized that one thing, like, um, most of the traders, right, they are very myopic in view. Lah. So just to give you an out, uh, overview of what is my approach first. So the things that I'm about to share later is put into context. Rather than, oh, Jay, talk about this, 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 then how does it serve me? Ah? Ah, then if it doesn't serve any purpose to you, then it's useless. Man. You had wasted your time. So I want to put everything into context first. Then I share with you where each of the parts where I get the information from. I think this approach is, will be more holistic and more informational, more enlightening like, for all of you. Like. So is that, will that be okay? If that's okay with you, can you just have me type okay in the chat? Okay, good. So most of the traders, right? I think they are very single dimension or what I call myopic, okay? Myopic. So can everybody just type the letter M for me representing myopic? So what I mean by myopic? Meaning they are very zoomed in. For example, you have a picture like that, right? At any one point in time, I find that traders who struggle to get consistency, that means this is an elusive state, right? They are usually uh, very focused on one small part of the bigger picture. So this is the big pic, okay? The big picture. And they are usually just focused on one aspect only. And that's why, right? Uh, thinking that that's the whole universe, thinking that that's everything, then they will struggle uh, to achieve that. And that's uh, one common denominator that I see across board, all right, across board, uh, throughout all these traders who struggle. So for me, right, the approach that I use, or actually I give you one outline, it's a very simple one. Uh, key la, key number one, right, it is to not just consider from one perspective. What do I mean? Most of the traders, they are just using TA, literally just TA only. So step number one, right, or key point number one, is that we should not just focus on TA itself. How many of you think that this makes sense? Can you type yes in the chat if you think this makes sense? That means you shouldn't just look at, oh, TA, TA. That means, oh, I got lines, 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 I got indicators, you know? Then I got tons of indicators, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten indicators. I think, oh, that's, that's the holy grail already. Then I get this one oversold, wow, RSI oversold, stochastic oversold, wow, everything, oh, wow. Then, then okay, that's the way to go. Uh, yeah, that was how I started. <laughs> that was how I started. And it's a little bit overwhelming. Okay. So step number one, I think the first step towards consistency, right? It is to not just have this myopic view, but more so, right? Okay. More so what I think you should do, right? Is to have a more holistic view. So the viewpoint, right? That I always analyze my market on uh, or the perspectives that I that I use to analyze this market, right? It's not just on TA. TA, yes, it remains an integral perspective. But I also look at this thing called the FA. Can everyone type FA in the chat? Let me elaborate as well. Can everyone just tell me type FA in the chat? Now, what is FA? FA, usually most people will look at stocks. For me, because I am a trader, I don't really look at the FA for stocks. Why? Because FA of stocks, they don't usually change. They change every three months. And most of my trade duration are not even three months. My, most of my trade duration are just a couple of weeks. They don't really change. So I don't look at FA for stocks all that much. Maybe like uh, Elvin, Elvin from Dr. Wealth, maybe he does because he's of a longer term nature. For me, I don't. But what I care a lot about, right, is the fundamentals of the market. Can everyone type market for me in the chat? MKT. All right. I look at the fundamentals of the market, which includes the macro view, which includes the money flow. And these are the things that most of the retail traders, they just don't care. Because if I were to talk about this, right? Uh, most people, ah, this one, 
Hey, I don't want, I don't want to see lah. This one, ah, nothing sexy lah. What they want? They want, they want candlestick pattern. They want chart patterns. They want because those are things that are sexy, right? You know, and and they are made um sexier by a lot of all the promotion on on YouTube. If you go online and search keywords, uh, candlestick pattern, chart patterns. That's what that's that's what get uh that's what readers and and new traders are attracted to. Just like what how how a moth is attracted to a light source, and despite knowing that it flies into a light source, it may get like electrocuted, right? But it still does. So that was exactly how I started. All right, that was exactly, and maybe some of you are still at that phase, but it is a journey. All right, it's a journey. I just want to share with you some of this how I overcome that. Lah. Then uh, money flow is what of is one of the things that I look at. Rotation, okay, slash rotation is some of the things I look at, and that's why right the stocks that I look at. They are beyond the Fang Plus stocks, and usually I don't focus on the Fang Plus stock. And my students get attached to this. A lot of stocks that I throw out, right? They are none of this. Uh, Facebook, Amazon, Google, Netflix. Uh, fa- what was that? Uh, Microsoft, Apple, Nvidia. I I don't I, I don't usually look at those lah, All right. So I look at the fundamentals on the market because this gives me the bias. This gives me the source. Okay, this gives me the source of stock, uh, of the stocks. Where should I be focusing on? The TA aspect gives me the trigger. So this is the role that having different analysis lens, the different roles that they play in my analysis. So you can see it's a more, not so myopic, but at least it's a more zoomed out, more holistic approach towards the market. So far, is this clear with everyone? If this is clear, can you just help me type clear in the chats? <clears throat> so, okay. Right now, I think we have about 230 people. Can I get more replies, please? <laughs> Less than 10 people, I stress. <laughs> the, other, the other 200 plus, what are you doing? <laughs> are you eating popcorn? Uh? I'm scared. Eh? This is not a lot of the rings, you know? <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, TAFA is what I use. Then besides this, right, uh, I also make use of uh, what they call TCA, time cycle analysis, or in short, CA, lah, and also sentiment analysis to confirm some of the biases that I have derived using TA and FA. So the main, the main approach is still using TAFA, the main approach. But my FA is not of stocks, but of the market. And then I make use of the additional time cycle analysis because whether we are in the right time cycle, and also, does the sentiment of the market supports the view? Because at the end of the day, the market is a very dynamic place to be. And it is not about what is happening now. Like, for example, we all more or less expect that a recession is on the cards. Yeah. But why is nobody talking about a recession now? So this tells me that current sentiment, we are still not at a stage where the recession fears becomes an important enough factor to affect the market. Not that it will never be important. Eventually, in the right place, in the right period, it will become the focus. But as of now, it seems to be just the pink elephant that's in the room that everyone chooses to ignore. Lah. Okay? So this is the overall approach that I use. So tonight, right, the things that I'm about to share, how to thrive in this high interest rate environment. I'm going to use aspects from here and from here, and then you gel together and you take them into advisement to see how you can position yourself. That's why I'm spending some time to explain this. So far, good. So far, so good. Is the explanation clear and concise? Are you learning something? Yes, if you have, can you just help me type yes in the chats? Good, yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> for, for, uh, for, for a moment, right, Christopher, I see the good yes, right? I saw it as goodbye, I'm like, why do you want to go? I'm so sad, you know. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. So that's the first thing la, that I find that if a trader, if you wishes to, if you wish to seek some consistency, right, in your approach, then you have to have a more um, overview of the market. Not so much in a, in, in a myopic sense, but know of what are the factors that affect the market. And then number two, right? What that approach does for you, it is to give you source of stocks. Meaning, if you know where the money is flowing into, if you can focus on the strong stocks, can everyone type strong for me in the chats? 
Strong, there is a difference between strong and hot. What do you mean by hot? Hot are those news, uh, are those uh, stocks, right? Like your Tesla, like your Palantir, that are very sentiment driven, all right? They're very sentiment driven. They are very inflated. Those are hot stocks, which can be strong, which can exhibit like, you know, strong movements. But uh, something like, uh, to give you an example, uh, all your Fang Plus stocks, they are on news most of the time. Those are hot stocks. I prefer, not that they are no good, not that they cannot be traded. It's just that I prefer not to look at them. Why? Because sentiment, right? Sentiment is, it can come, it can go, and uh, it can, it can, okay, wait, uh, okay, anyway, just leave it there. So sentiment can come, can go, and then uh, if once it deflates, right, then the movement is just gone already. So it will project or produce those price movement that are very unpredictable. So you see, if you want consistency, right, uh, you think about this. If you don't like to have a very bumpy ride, okay, you, you, you all listen, uh, you, all see, you all hear this analogy, see whether it makes sense. Uh. If you don't want to have a bumpy ride, you know some of you get motion sickness when you are in a moving vehicle, right? Or let's say you take a, a, a boat, right? A smaller boat or a smaller vessel on, on a water and then when it starts to get rough and then it starts to jerk, uh, you know, tilt left, right, up, down and all that. If you don't like this motion and it tends to produce uh, those motion sickness for you that you feel sick, you want to vomit, right? Then isn't it a sound advice to just, okay, I don't put myself in that terrain. I don't put myself in where the path is jumpy. I don't put myself in that scenario, that environment then I won't feel this motion sickness. Lah. Do you all think that this makes sense? If you think this makes sense, can you type yes for me in the chat? All right, so you want to avoid all this wow, motion sickness, then, then avoid the terrain. Lah. You go a smooth road, then the thing will be smooth, lah, right? Then if you choose one that is like that, then obviously your, 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 your experience will be like that. Lah. Okay, thank you. So over here, my focus is on strong stocks. So stocks like, you know, the stocks that I've been looking at, right? Uh, as of late, I think for the first half of the year, I was looking at GE. Uh, I was looking at Copart for a while. Then I was also looking at just recently. Let me see. Uh, just recently, uh, I was also looking at VMW. Uh, not 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 a car. Not the car BMW. Okay, is <laughs> VMware. Okay, VMware. This is uh as of late lah. It, it was quite it was quite good lah. So, I. Always focus on stocks like that that are not sentiment driven. And right now, one of the main market mover like, is AI driven. Like, any stocks you go into AI, like Microsoft, that they got one big palm, right? Because um, they decide to charge a higher subscription for one of the products that's linked to AI. So it's just like, you know, there was a blockchain era where everything blockchain suddenly boom. There was a dot com era where even if your name, you, you, you just start a company, you put dot com, okay? Like, Johnny, johnny.com. Uh, then you come up with some nice, nice uh, story and then you can just raise funds from, from nowhere. So this kind of sentiment driven, it is fun while it lasted, but it doesn't produce consistency. So if you want consistency, the source of the stocks, the selection of the stocks, it is of utmost importance. How many of you agree with what I've just said? If you want consistency, then the source of the stock that you select must be consistent in the first place in terms of their performance. It cannot just be jumping up, jumping down, get up, get down. Then it's very hard also. Ma. Then your PNL also up and down. Ma. How many of you agree? Can you type agree in the chat? Makes sense, right? So with these guidelines in place, la, okay, with all these guidelines in place, what is the next important thing? Well, the next important thing, right? Uh, number three, okay, the next important thing, number three, uh, once you have the source of stocks ready, all right, have an approach that is more holistic. Second set, have a better, uh, uh, a dependable source, all right, a dependable source of your stocks that are usually strong in nature, strong in momentum, because that will represent uh, some money flow into that overall, you know, the overall industry or the overall sector. Yeah, uh, that's where you get strength in numbers, lah, right? Like as of late, right, just yesterday, um, I was looking at industrials, which is what I'm going to bring up later. Industrials is starting to rotate in. All right, just, just, yeah, I guess that's what you, you, you are here for. Number three, right, it is to have a trigger. All right, number three is to have a trigger so that you are able to get 
in slash out. Maybe not trigger, la, but more of a plan. You must be able to plan your trade to know that when you are getting in, why you are getting in, why you are getting out. And this is the finalizing factor that gives you consistency and sustainability in the market. Okay, so these are the three pointers that I want us to begin with because if you are starting on the wrong foot, you are just focusing on TA, just one aspect of TA thinking is the whole universe. Um, I'm sorry to burst your bubble. I don't think it's enough because I've been doing this for, I think this year is like 13 plus years already. First few years, I was honestly going all over the place. I was focusing too much on TA. And yeah, I think after 13 years, trying out all different things, right? Then uh, it finally goes one whole full round. Lah, and I discovered that this is something that works for me. Lah. So I'm just sharing with you. You don't have to take it wholesale. Uh, if it you know disagrees with any of your belief, I'm not here to argue with you as well. So my job here is just to share with you uh, what has worked for me so far. And if you think that what I said makes sense, then give it a shot. Try it out. Take it into advisement. See how does it gel with your existing pro uh, processes so that you will be able to improve from that. And that's all of what we want. And that's what I want for you as well. That's why you're spending this, this you know, the, the, the next one hour and the past half an hour with me, right? That's, that's why we are here, right? So, so far, okay. Are y'all satisfied with what y'all, how we have begun tonight's session with? Are y'all satisfied? How many of you are happy that you're here? If you're happy that you're here, can you just have me type happy? Team, stop screening is the worst. Actually, no, la, if you have a process, it's not, it's not worse. La. <laughs> I know it's tough. I know it's not easy, easy, but uh, it can be made easier. La. Like, like, for example, for example, just to give you an, an, an outlook. La. Okay, like this is my community. Some of you are inside. I, I can see some, some names are in there. I know that sometimes, you know, finding the source of strong stocks are very, uh, it, it, it's a challenge. It, it's a, quite a challenge, la. So that's why, right, you see in my community, right, for my students, I do send them, uh, this is the list for this week. As you can see, today is only the 2nd of August. So this is the list for this week until Friday, la, so Monday to Friday. So as the market pullback, blah, 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 this is where I give the overview of the market. And then I will have like, uh, for example, the different triggers. So these are all the different triggers. Under AEP itself, we are looking at uh, TR. TRGP, XP. So that's why I bring all these stocks to them. Lah. So instead of, besides, you know, just learning how to fish, I also like, hey, this area here got fish. Lah. You just wait, you know, the, the fish come, then you hook, lah. but just wait here. Uh, that's, that's, that's what I can do. Lah. So uh, finding a sort of stock, yes, it is, a, it is a, I wouldn't say a struggle, but once you have a process, it's actually easier. Lah. Huh? So how many of you agree? Once you have a process, once you have the know-how, actually it's just like a routine. How many of you agree with this statement? If you agree, can you just tell me type yes in the chat? Okay, good. So over here, uh, now that you have an idea of what is my approach into this market, right? You have an approach of what, it, what, what is into this market. Uh, now let's get down to business and... First, on a TA perspective, on that day, right? These are my drawings. My drawings usually never change, Anna. Uh, don't ask me why I put my <laughs> put an arrow there. This arrow is not, not generated by any system or what. I put it there. Uh, because it it is used to remind me that uh that session is of some significance. Okay, that session is of some out of some significance. So how do I know that the market is extended? How do I know that? Well, if you have been uh if you have attended the uh the markets the what do you call that the market insights trading festival three three weeks ago or yeah two three Saturdays ago right uh where where I was the I, I believe I was the third speaker the afternoon slot lah. so I did mention that ever since in this new era of market all right in this new era of market where interest rate is four point seven five percent plus lah. so currently based on the most recent the most recent uh, FOMC rates, right? Uh, our rates have been increased from 5.25 to 5.5. So on the horizon, there are also talks that in September, which is the next FOMC, we may raise up another 25 basis point to 5.75. So this has been the highest across the last 20 years. So this is a high IR environment that I think if you are just new to this market, if you are only in this market from 2020, if you're a COVID trader, right? Meaning to only started investing and, and trading during COVID, uh, then you probably will 
get stunned a little bit like, oh, yo, why the market like that one? You know, 2020, 2021 is a very easy market. You, you close eye buy anything, fly. But uh, 2022 is a little bit of struggle. So it does shake up some of the people who are not, uh, who doesn't have a found, solid foundation. Now. So in this high interest rate environment from last October onwards, so this is where I'll call it the new phase, right? In this new phase, how are we going to survive? What are the market movement that we expect? So based on the TA perspective, right, you can see that the market has always been bounded by this upper range and the lower range over here. How many of you can see this? Can you type me in the chat if you can see this? So ever since in this environment, in the current context where the information is still relevant, you have the upper bound and you have the lower bound. If you can identify this, like what I've drawn on the screen, how many type yes in the chat? Uh, how many type me in the chat? Thank you. Okay, good. So with this, right, why I said it was extended, because from a TA perspective, you can see prices every time it hits into this upper bound or near the upper bound, it will get pushed back down. So with all else staying constant, uh, once it gets into the upper bound, it gets pushed back down. Once it gets into the upper bound, it gets pushed back down. Once it is in the upper bound, and it looks like it's not breaking out, because if it does break out, then yeah, la, maybe you know it's telling me something la, that maybe I'm missing certain certain consideration factor, but it doesn't it, it doesn't push out. And what is the significance of this gray box that I have plotted over there? Well, just let me zoom out. Just let me zoom out. From a TA perspective, right? I think it is very clear that you know last March we have a very uh crazy uprun that pushes the uh that this is a a, a more than a 20% uh, increase from the from the base. Sorry, not, not, not more than 20. More than 10%, which erases more than half the losses, right? This gain over here, this was the previous resistance. This was the anchor point or the objective point that people found the prices to be expensive. That means, I cannot accept this price. I think it's too high. So just like property. Ma. Huh? Now all 2,000 plus PSF? Uh, killer, killer. If I really need, I I will find my way to a fall But there's no longer that. Wow, cheap eh, cheap eh. Now it's a hey, yo, like expensive leh. Uh, you know that that kind of sentiment. So, this is what causes the market trend right to go sideways and then to die down. It is not the actual wow shit hit the fan. No, it's the expectation of. I think there's limited upside already there. Then there's no limited upside means what? Limited upside means there's lesser incentive for me to act now. Lesser incentive for me to act now means what? Lesser um, enthusiasm, excited, uh, you know, lesser excited traders in the market. And the thing will just propagate itself. Lah, and then it will lead to a topish market, struggle to push up higher. And eventually it will go sideways or to the downside. I think the pressure there is higher. Lah. So does what I say make sense? Yes or no? If you found what I say makes sense, can you help me type yes in the chat? So meanwhile, you type. Let me drink some water. Good. So that's the reference point. That's where it's considered to be expensive. And now we are back to that expensive point, right? And obviously everyone is going to use that as a check, as a marker. And that's where we are stuck there. Lah. And that's the significance of this gray color box that I have plotted. So to explain the context. So in the grand scheme of things, now that you have seen a slightly bigger TA picture, and if I were to zoom in over here, Okay, you can see that we are definitely in the upper bound of the this upper channel. And then we also coincided with what used to be the expensive price from last March onwards. So this price is facing a little bit of a uh, suffer or resistance. Therefore, right, when prices is in this vicinity, okay, when prices is in this vicinity, I mentioned specifically on Saturday, not just on Saturday, but three weeks ago on the MITF uh, during the webinar itself. I also mentioned that our risk to reward is no longer that attractive. We have to be more selective. Not saying that you still you cannot long the market. You still can. There are still very nice counters for you to long. But we have to be, be a lot more selective. How many of you agree? If you agree, can you type the letter S in the chat, please? You cannot just, wow, anything come, la, buy. La. You know, in a, in, in a strong bull market, yes, anything comes your way, you just buy because chances are you will make money. But when it's already there, hmm, then you have to be more defensive, la, more selective. La. Don't anything also choose, anything also anyhow whack. La. Okay? So that's my key point over here. 
So where am I looking at? Well, in the short term, I'm looking at around 4,550, uh, somewhere around 4,550 as the immediate support. If this level cannot hold, then it, it should come down to somewhere around 4,480. Uh, yeah, somewhere around there. So within now, right, to the next two weeks, these are the immediate levels. Okay, the support one, support two area. These are the immediate two levels that I'm seeing. What is the significance of, what are the significance uh, significance of, of, of these two levels? Well, number one, if the market is in a continued uptrend, right, then the market participants, the market players, at least the institution, they will have to accept what? A higher low prices, which have been forming since the starting of the year. So a higher low prices, even if you come to somewhere around here, 4,004, it is still considered okay. Lah. But if it reverses this trend, that's where it will be a little tricky. But as of now, the bias is still bullish, just that now the risk to reward is just, it, it doesn't make sense. So I am not going to uh, you know, force a long trade on the market now unless the stocks that I selected presents a good risk to reward. That's where I get in. If not, I don't want to get in. So what this does is that it gives me the bias, the grand scheme of things, the bias, so that I don't just, can I, can I buy everything, buy ah? then Very dangerous, ma, right or not? Okay, so now, do you have the same bias as I do? Yes or no? If yes, can everyone just have me type bias in the chat? Everyone just have me type bias in the chat. So shout out, uh, do me a favor. Uh, I can see some of you are still uh, sending the message. Uh, in fact, on my end, uh, because I'm the panelist, right, I can see a lot, right? Uh, some of you are still sending the message to hosts and panelists. Can you please, please change it to everyone? Because I want this to be a lively environment, not just one that only I can see. Then, you know, nobody will, how can nobody send one? Okay, I don't type. Lah. Actually, from on my end, I can see. <laughs> on my end, I can see. Okay, thank you. Now, with this in mind, right? With this in mind, uh, if we couple up with some of the, the macro factors, right? Remember just now I use TAFA, right? So TA, that's what I'm seeing. I think the risk to reward, I've identified, uh, okay, that, that, that few point risk. Uh, if I get it now, the risk is, is I would say, even out with my reward. Like, doesn't, doesn't really make sense like, or slightly negative. Like, so I'll just wait a while. On the overall market, I'm a lot more selective on the stocks now, which uh, as... As far back as mid-July, I have already been cautious because it's like trying to squeeze out like, you know, give me an analogy. Uh. Some of you maybe have drank uh, sugar cane before. Right? You know how they make sugar cane? Right? They take one sugar cane, they'll put through the machine, they'll flatten it, the roller. So they'll flatten it and then they will fold it second time, squeeze it again, then squeeze out more juice, right? Then they will try to, okay, this one dry, okay, I take some. Hey, this one still can. I fold it again, then I put through the roller to squeeze out, to squeeze out, to squeeze out extra gains, which is what the market is like showing me here. Lah. I'm trying to squeeze, I'm trying to squeeze, I'm doing my best to squeeze, but cannot lay. Uh, you know, the market is like my face now. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's why be, be a little bit more uh, defensive and selective from there. Lah. So on the, on the macro scale, right, on the macro scale, I just want to uh, highlight this to you, uh, which I brought up briefly. Fair fund rate indicator, okay? I just want to highlight this. On the macro scale, this is one of the things that will spoil the trade, all right? One of the things that will spoil the trade. But I put this on a weekly chart, right? You can see here very, very clearly that every time, okay? So I just need you to know this. We are ahead of the curve. So maybe half a year, one year later, you revisit whatever you covered today. You say, hey, how come Jay know about this? Ah? Well, uh, it's just about patterns. Lah. So I identify, I highlight to you, you take it into advisement. Don't forget about it. Keep it within your view. So KIV, okay? Just KIV this. Keep it within your view and see what will happen. Usually, the major market turning, okay, always require a catalyst or a reason. There must be a reason for all this major market turning, not just a simple recession. There must be something. There must be a team. For example, 2000. 2000, you have got dot-com bubble. 2007, you have got subprime mortgage crisis. So now there must be something. If you want to have those like 40% to 60% drop, there must be a reason, external reason. Then right now, we are not seeing yet. Okay, I do not see anything yet. 
so far clear? If everyone clear, how many type the letter R in the chat? If you are clear, how many type letter R in the chat? So with this, you can see that if I were to use a common pattern, okay, that's where the fat fund rate is. Every time the fat fund rate plateaus, that means it go flat. Lah. So every time it flattens uh, over here, so they will go flatten, flat already. That's where when they start to pivot. Can everyone just let me type pivot in the chat? Everyone just let me type pivot in the chat. So clear, yeah? So good enough. You see here over, you get a pivot. Every time after the pivot, that's where the really the, oh, the shit hit the fan moment. Ah. Okay? So now, where are we? Granting this in mind. Okay, granting this in mind. Uh, we do have the previous pivot over there and the drop is actually excavated. The drop is excavated by COVID. Lah. So this one, there's an external reason called COVID where all of us begin caveman, cavewoman for, for two months. Uh, not allowed to cut hair, then usually never shave, then on, on Zoom, that's the first time we use Zoom, right? <laughs> that was my first time using Zoom. So now, where are we? We are still in an interest rate hike cycle. And right now, we are near the end. All right? We are near the, the top end now. We are near the top end or what we call the terminal rate, TR. Can everyone type TR in the chat, please? So terminal rate. What's terminal rate? Terminal rate means it hits the, the, the flat, the plateau, lah, not increase anymore. That's the end. So right now at 5.5, on the horizon, we are looking at a 5.75, right? On the horizon, that's what we are looking at. How do I know this? Well, if you look at the Fed rate, uh, Fed fund rate right over here, right? 5.5, this is the September one, uh, is pricing in 5.5. November, still 5.5, but towards the end of year, you can see this is a 30% chance. Huh? So there is a good, one third, uh, one in three chances that it might or we might face another uh, another 25 basis point increase. Uh. So with this, right, it is quite safe to say that the pivot is happening soon. Can everyone acknowledge this? If you can acknowledge that the pivot uh, or rather the, the rates are plateauing soon, can you have me type yes in the chat? Because this rate, once it plateaus, then I'm watching for one thing. Once it plateaus, the market likely will still, the sentiment will, re, uh, re, will still stay on a bullish side for a while because the knee-jerk reaction will be bullish. Think about it. Suddenly, hey, interest rate not increasing. Eh? It seems like, wow, exam over, I party. You know, you know that you cannot party on forever. But the last day of your exam, what do you do? I'm going out. I'm going to party. No longer study. Yes, I can go for my year end break and I can, yeah, you know, just, just enjoy for a while. But you know that this is not going to last forever because school is still going to resume. And even if it's the end of your exam, next year you still have to go back to school, right? Then the whole cycle begins again. So the knee jerk reaction will be a, still be a bullish pump, a bullish push. And that's why from now to the end of the year, the where, the, the place that I'm aiming for, it is actually the, 2021 pick. I do think that we are likely to take out the pick by end of this year. Okay? So, I may be entirely wrong, but then again, this is based on the patterns that I observed so far. I think we will take out this top by the end of this year. Okay? So far, is this message loud and clear? Yes or no? If this is clear, can you just have me type clear in the chats? It's so far for those that attended for first time. Uh, if this is your very, very first time. Uh, do you like the style? So far, okay? Yes? Who, who are the first timers? Can I, can I hear it from you? Please. <laughs> because I've seen a few, a few repeat uh, names. I think you have seen me for uh, many times. Yeah, like a dozen times. Uh. <laughs> Good, uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. So take out means break. Uh, yes, DH. You yeah, are right. So that, that is in my view. La. But doesn't mean you should buy now. Uh, now, now short term still risk to work to make sense. La. Okay. So watch out for that. When that pivot happens, uh, when it starts to drop, when it starts to cut and the market still pump, uh, that's where you should really, really be cautious. Is this clear, everyone? Is this clear? If this is clear, don't say never share. Don't say bojo, okay? 
Uh, I show you now. Way before it happened, I show you first. Now, you still can go party. Your exam just finished. Oh, no, no, no. Exam finishing. It's like nearing your last paper. Your exam finishing. After finish ready, can you party? Yes, go ahead and party. But when it is nearing the next school term, uh, then no more partying already. Please come back to reality and start to be more cautious. Using this analogy, does it make sense? How many of you followed exactly? You think that what I said makes sense? Huh? Can you just have me type yes in the chat? Have you received value now? Like, like the overview that I shared with you, the explanation, is it, is it clear? How many of you found and received value tonight? If you receive value, can you just type value in the, in, the, in the chat, please? Let me drink some water also. Thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so nearing the last paper, so study hard for the last paper, that means, Chong, ah, capture this boo. Ah. After that, then cautious, okay? Uh, after that, then cautious. All right. So will there be a recession? Uh, although the Federal Reserve say don't have, lah, right? That's, that's what they say on the headlines. They are not pricing a recession. Uh, like many times I reiterated, I think there will be a recession because despite what the Federal Reserve says, all right, despite what the Federal Reserve say, there is still, uh, this is where the deep, you can see the U curve inversion, right? This is the 10 years minus two year. That, that morning, I believe uh, Jun Rong also, uh, brought this up. So uh, some of us use 10 years minus two years. Some of us use 10, 10 years minus three months. Doesn't matter because uh, we are still looking at the same period time frame. Then looking at this, right, you can see that this is now in a very negative territory. This has been, uh, the last time it was this negative uh, was close to 40 over years ago. Uh. That was net negative. Uh. So now we are in this. What does it mean? It means that the U curve is inverted. So this, we are dealing with an inverted U-curve. Can everyone type IYC in the chat? Inverted U-curve. Hey, Benson, surprise US credit downgrade affect my view. Uh, no, nothing is going to stop this market. Let's give you a wow. Temporary fear only. My Kanjong. <laughs> so now we have inverted U-curve. And you can see that every time there was an inversion, then this period, it leads to a recession. There's an inversion leads to this. There's an inversion leads to recession. There's an inversion leads to recession, inversion, recession, inversion. There's a very small one there though. Recession and inversion. Then you wait, law. just a matter of time. Lah. But again, like I said, now sentiment wise, I know you are very concerned that, hey, this is a factor, this is a factor. You want to be too ahead of time. Well, History has shown that, you know, even for those revolutionary um, founders, right, of business, right, if you are too ahead of your time, you give too revolutionary idea, too ahead of a time that is disconnected with the current market sentiment, then your product won't go as well. So if you were to go back in time, like 1990s, say, hey, if you can go back in time uh, and say, look at this, back then, also using Nokia, right? Uh, look at this, 40 years later, you will have, oops, you have an iPhone. This is a smartphone. They can do everything. But is it useful? It is not useful if you go back 40 years in time or 20 years in time. Why? Because back then, we don't even have 2G. No, we have 2G. La. We probably have GPRS. La. Uh, we don't even have 3G. So your device will render useless because today's device runs on 5G. So with this approach, right? You think about this. Should you be kept in and in, 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 encapsulated by fear? I don't, I don't do anything. I don't do it. Do it. Why? This is not a pressing thing in the current sentiment. The current sentiment is still bullish. You, you, you afraid of what? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So the market will only turn if the big boy starts to take action first. That's why I always look at money flow. I always look at rotation. That's what I'm tracking. All right? That's why I don't, I don't just look at the headlines and say, oh yeah, I see the headline. Wow, wow, wow. Then I follow the headline. Then... That is as good as what the other 90% of the traders are doing. Lah. So if you want to achieve or reach a destination that you have not uh, been to, then you need to take a different path. Lah, because the same old path is not going to lead you to the different destination. How many of you agree with this? Can you type yes in the chat? All right. So, hey, why soon? Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't, don't buy next year textbook and uniform first. Yes, correct. That's the point. Thank you for using that very on-point analogy. Uh, next year, school term start first, meaning uh, the thing really uh, start to pivot. Liao. Then you start to worry. Now you are just worrying for nothing. Every day, hey -yo, hey -yo, hey -yo. Then the thing haven't come, uh, your, your heart died already. 
<laughs> okay. Ken, so far so good. Yes. Okay, good. Fred, very good. Good question. Okay. So what do I do? Uh, what, what is on the horizon right now? Like, for example, right, using the, the approach, okay, using the approach. I, I, that day, right, that day, um, I think on, on Saturday itself, like on Saturday, quite a number of you spoke to me uh, individually also because uh, before that, it was just a lot on Facebook names. And then some of you, some of you actually reach out, uh, not just to Alex, but also to myself. You check about, hey, uh, does Jay has a, has a community, have a, have a program that I can join? And did I have more details about it? So can I, uh, because that time, you know, it, it was quite time tight during on Saturday itself. So since, you know, all of us are here tonight, can I also take this time, right? Just a short segment of your time. I'm not going to take up too much of your time. Is it okay for me to share some details? Because some of you were asking for it. And if you want to see how you can take what I say, right? To really put it into step-by-step, -step, a process, and then together with the trigger on using these strong stocks. Can I just have your next 15, 20 minutes attention so that I can share with you what has worked for me brilliantly so far for this year? Is it okay? Can I have your permission? If I can have a permission to do that, can you help me type agree in the chat? If that's okay. Hey, Yu Yang, hello. <laughs> see, you, see you so happy. I also don't know how to spell already. <laughs> okay, so uh, I want to share a little bit details about the, the AEP program as well. Because three weeks ago, right, during the summit itself, um, I didn't, uh, and you're asking questions, right? Jay, can you show me more the examples because you want to be clear about it. Should you want to join? What do you, what are you actually getting yourself into? Like, so today I'd like to uh, fully showcase uh, about, you know, if, is there a community? Uh, uh, yes, there is. So just now I've shown you that uh, this is what I do for my community. Uh, usually for people who are, uh, who join my community, right? Via my program. Um, they will be hosted on this Zoom Trading Graduates group, of which I can see a lot of common names today. La. How many of you are already in my community? I see I, I see a few common names. Can you just identify yourself? Let me type me in the chat. Don't pay say. All my Zoom traders, where are you? <laughs> yes, Pei Wen, Janice. Oh my God, so fast. Hey, hey, KY, I'm Harry. Yes, as you can see, quite a number of you are already there. So I host all of them within this community. And in this community, it acts like a... Uh, it's like a sharing space. La. It's like a forum, a sharing space only for my students. And as of late, I uh, right now we have 1,100 members. La, and all these are uh, you know, enrolled in my program one way or another. So every single week, right, what I do to support my community is that I will share this uh, number one, uh, of the market outlook as well as the key level so that they know exactly how to act in the coming week. So I don't just send at the end of the week. I send before the weeks actually start. That's the whole point of, that's the whole point of, of having an outlook, right? You, know, you must send before it starts, right? And then using the approach. Okay, so what is the approach and how do I find stocks? Well, I my focus, right, with the market this year, throughout last year and this year, my approach it is to find explosive stocks to trade. And the explosive stocks are, we are looking at to get this kind of, you know, huge movements uh, in a couple of days that turn out, that this kind of movement. So can everybody acknowledge this by typing explosive in the chat? Just let me type explosive or EXP in the chat. So this is my main team. So just now, um, you know, Fred is asking like, you know, how, how do we look for a uh, rotation? How do we look for some money flow? Well, the whole key, right, is that you must know what you're looking out for, all right? Therefore, I'm taking this segment to share with you, uh, to, to expand a little bit. Number one, you want to find the rotation. You first must know what you're looking out for. So what are we looking at? We are looking at strong stocks that possess momentum, all right? Momentum. So can everyone type M-O-M in the chat? Momentum. That's what we want to look for. Strong stocks, consistent movement with momentum. And this allows me right, to take advantage of them using a setup that captures the explosive movement. So that is what predominantly what I focus on, what my students and my, uh, myself focus on since, you know, the, the, the last year onwards, we've been looking at this extensively and every week, right? I will furnish 
the stocks for them to trade. Now, some of you may think, hey, Jay, what is the CBTS? What is TVB? Well, TVB, right? It's a, it's a, it's a, a program that is currently not open for enrollment anymore. But when I say I still support the, the students, initially, they didn't believe me. They thought, oh, once you close the program for enrollment, then any form of support is, is, is just so-called additional. But despite this, there is no new students for this. I already closed the enrollment for the TVB. But yet, I still kept up with this, uh, this support lah. So it's 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 not about just oh you 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 come through the door and then that's it you you survive and then you just go and do it yourself. For me, it's about building a community. It's about having this ecosystem right where uh, like minded traders you trade together and the support just continues lah. Be it whether is there is there new enrollment. It to me it doesn't matter. It's about my word to them. And the support continues from there. So this is who I am and how I run my, my community. It's not a, 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 those commercialized, you know, commercialized setting where there is upsells after upsells. This is not what I do. My students, I think you can attest to this. Uh, Alex, by the way, is also still in, uh, he's also in the community. <laughs> Alex is also in there. So later, yeah, maybe you got some questions for him. So this is what I do as part of uh, the, the program. And... The students in this program, right? You may think, uh, hey, Jia, what is AEP? Uh? What, what does AEP stands for? Uh? Well, uh, AEP, right, is actually representing the art of explosive profits. So this is what AEP stands for. Can everyone just help me type AEP in the chat? Can everyone just help me type AEP in the chat? So the art of explosive profits, meaning we are capturing what we are capturing explosive stocks. I don't want those stocks like, wow, 10 years never move on. Like Singapore market, lah. wow, them sian one. <laughs> really them sian one. So the AEP framework over here, we focus on explosive stocks. So most of your exposure within the market. So let me elaborate on this because I didn't have time to elaborate on Saturday. I didn't have time to elaborate during the, the actual uh, summit itself. So AEP itself, right? Uh, we focus on the stocks that usually less than three weeks, we will be out of the position already. So let me answer the big elephant in the room. Do we need to stay up overnight? No, we focus on US stocks, but there is no need for you to stay up overnight. We are doing the planning during the, uh, the, the weekends or the Monday before the market open. Then when the market opens from Monday to Friday, all you need to do is after you have sent in the order is just to wait for the execution. That's all. That means most of the work must still be done prior to the market open. That's why we send out the outlook. That's why we send out the list usually on a Saturday uh, so that you have a time to go and do your planning from there. Okay. So far, is this clear? So I want to make myself very clear here. This is not like a copy trade. This is not like there's some work for you to do. So if you are not interested in doing work, this is not for you. If you're interested to learn, uh, to discover a, a solid, you know, framework, a step-by-step -step framework of, hey, how do I, you know, fully utilize the number one, the source? Because in the program, I do share with you, how do you set up your own watch list of strong stocks through the source and then have a trigger to take advantage of this source of stocks. So that there, there is a whole framework. That means a red carpet I line up for you. But you must walk. Lah. You cannot expect to, oh, you sit there, full arm, then uh, want me to carry you. Uh, that's not something I'm willing to do. That's not something that if you are in there for that, then, then don't, don't, don't consider this at all. This is not for you. Lah. Okay, so do you think it is fair that if you want some results, you must do some work? My job is to make it easier, but you must do the work. How many of you think that this approach is fair? If you think this is fair, can you just have me type fair in the chats? If you're not willing to do work, then, then, then don't. Lah. No, nothing is going to help. Lah. Okay. Yes, Glenn, ma match is exploding. Yes, yes. Match is something I sent out three weeks ago. Yes, it's exploding. <laughs> yeah, no free lunch. Exactly. Thank you, Kev. All right. So the Art of Explosive Profits program, right? Uh, this is a framework that allows me to focus on the strong stocks okay this is a framework that allows me to focus on the strong stocks and this will help you how do you get in on those like hey the trend sell one go so high already like how how to get in uh, so that your risk to reward still makes sense uh, so that you are still not late 
for the movement. Because the last thing you want is you chase the thing, you get in right at the top, and then after that, the thing, then you, low, then you have to exit, you know, at the low there. Then it makes you feel like so humiliated, so malu, so paise, right? Uh, so this framework addresses this and focus on the core behavior of the stock. There must be rotation. There must be, as you know, underlying strength. And these are all the stocks that we have been sending out. Like, for example, uh, Glenn mentioned uh, match M M MTCH, right? That's something that we sent out uh, three, I believe for three weeks, two, two three weeks ago. So that, 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 that is exploding. Uh, recently, I'm looking at ZGN. Uh, ZGN, in fact, in the live trading session, I mentioned uh, to, to, to the attendees, right? ZGN, which very nicely went up very nicely as well. So the sweet spot in this market, lah, if you are in there for intraday, some of you may not have the time because of work, because of family commitment, etc. So my exposure usually is from a couple of days to weeks. Lah. So not too long that you are overexposed until you, know, you follow the thing up, down, up, down, but not too short until you are only capturing one small portion then I think that one is not very nice. Lah. So, so far, is this clear? If this is clear, can you help me type clear in the chat? All of you, can you help me type clear in the chat? <coughs> Good, thank you. Now, so for, for the AEP program, right? Okay, for the AEP program, this is a 100% online e program, meaning anywhere in the world, you will be able to enroll and then start immediately. So you will be added to my community where there is no subscription, there is no maintenance charges. Once you are in, you are in there for a lifetime. You enroll and then immediately you can start anywhere you are in the world and you can learn it at your own free time. There is no limited time access. It is a lifetime access. Can you acknowledge this? Because everyone said, really? Ah, so many things, lifetime. Ah, chumbo, chumbo, really? Ah, never charge me anything. Ah. Uh, yeah, lah, just one time cost fee that is not even costing you a Starbucks a day. That kind of scenario is that is is, is that affordable? <laughs> okay. And it's lifetime access, lifetime support from me. So can everyone type lifetime in the chat? So I just want to lay out all these things clearly first because yeah, really, uh, really, uh, I don't believe it. Really, uh. I ask my student, oh, do I charge them any subscription? Do I post the list there every single week? Just, just let my student answer for itself. Uh. So what is this robust framework that helps them capture a strong move? Well, let me share with you, uh, after you enroll, right? What will you see? Lah? Okay, what will you see? This is the AEP portal. Once you enroll, right? Immediately, you will receive access to this portal. Okay, you'll receive access to this portal. And this portal, who is this program, uh, you know, suitable for? If you are brand new to the market, okay? If you're brand new to the market, I do start from the basics, all right? So you can see, I break down the stock markets, I explain the framework, and then building the A team of stocks, etc. So how do you start from there? How do you build your stocks? And then uh, how do you proceed with your TA? So it's taking what I've explained and what I have displayed to you just now, taking to the next step. It's about sharing with you how to do it yourself. It's a very DIY, you know, really learning a skill type of scenario. If you're in here thinking of copy trading, uh, don't la, don't la. Uh, not, not, not my priority la. Okay. So if you're new, yes. If you are, if you have traded before, you have some form of experience. You have some form of experience. You will be able to make use of the AEP framework, which is the PASD strategy over here. Take it into advisement and incorporate into your existing processes because you will be able to firm up some of your processes over here to see what I've done, and then to refine some of your processes if you're already doing it. And all this helps you to achieve the consistency. La. So later I can share with you the results so far in the last, you know, since last year onwards, all the stocks that we have caught up, I can share with you the results according to the setup. Where is it? And even I'm astonished by myself, like, Zumbo, this year like that. Well, I also a bit, a bit scared, la, like, really not, really so good. Not? So later I show you, okay? So what were you, what will you discover? Well, over here, right? This is how you start up. And then this is where you take it to the next level where you really make use of the trading platform, the charting platform. I'm using TradingView. So you, you should try out TradingView as well. It's free. There's no subscription. It's beautiful. It's wonderful, very powerful charting platform. 
And therefore, right, you have the trigger. So you remember just now the framework, number one, what is the key to consistency? Number one, it is to consider from a more holistic point of view. Yes? So if you can recall, that was what we've gone through just now. Can you type number one for me to acknowledge this? That was the first thing I mentioned. Don't just look at TA. TA is just one part of it. You have also have to look at FA, etc. So that's number one. Can you have me type one in the chat to acknowledge this? Hey, Arvin. <laughs> yes, no extra subscription. <laughs> Got extra coffee. Next time I buy from next time I buy for me. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, right? Number two is about what? Number two is then to focus on your source. Okay, number two is to focus on your source of stocks. All right, the source of stocks, the strong stocks. The focus is there. The momentum is there. How do we do that? Well, in lesson four, that's where we cover. That's, that, that's, that's what you're going to discover. So number three is what? Number three, it is the trigger. It is the setup that gives you a positive risk to reward. And the rule that has you know, repeated itself over time and it has proven some form of success. This is the way for you to encounter or to achieve consistency. How many of us can remember this? This is what I've talk, I started tonight's webinar with. One, two, and three. Can you acknowledge this by typing number three in the chat? Can all of you help me type number three in the chat? Good. Thank you. So these are the three things. And you can see that the trigger is over here. The practical, the holistic point of view through the approaches. Like you can see one is here and then number two is here. So this is where it really... I share with you the whole framework, what it does, and there is no extra things that you need to sign up for. There is no subscription. There's nothing. You are just getting into a community whereby you are in, you are in there for a lifetime, and you will also be in the Facebook group. Okay, you'll also be in this Facebook group where every week you will be able to ask some questions over here. Uh, like for example, if I were to look over here, uh, this is just this is just uh quite recent uh. So this is Keith. Keith joined me um quite quite early uh was it quite early? Just just recent uh, the 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 um quarter two uh. So this week's AEP stock uh VMW. So VMware. Uh, this is the stock that I'm looking at. Hit R two last night. So blah blah blah. So R two is where they're supposed to take profit uh. So congrats to those who take take action. Remember to profit pro uh to protect our profits, potential downside, etc. Then Keith again. Really AAP, blah, blah, blah. This is JBL, two partial profit, 10% profit from 2nd June, not bad. So two weeks ago, 2nd June, 13th June, 10%. So this, this is literally what it is. And uh, Grace. So Grace, right, she's an entire um, new, uh, I would say she's a new trader in this market. Second AAP trade, PHM after a small win in first GPK. So she followed the list. Small win in first GPK. This is just a four, four days ago. Uh. I, I'm not showing you like things like last year or what, uh, whatever last year, uh, not, 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 uh, not applicable. Uh. So over here, um, second AAP trade, PHM, slowly learning the rope, blah, blah, blah. So it will be over, worried about a volatility week. So TP at R1 level, and then it went explosive again. Well, at least she hit the TP. Uh. So first win was in GPK. So this is all real traders, real results, just as of late only. Then uh, this is Keith. And I even give the, the live trading session to them, uh, which I, I will give it to you as part of a bonus. We still have live trading together. Why? Why is there a need for live trading? Why? So now, uh, let me ask you this question. You learn is one thing, right? Learning is still more from an academic. That means I'm learning point of view. So learning, does it give you results? Yes or no? I'm very sure you know that learning just picks up the skill. But if you want to have results, which most of you want, then what gets you the results? You have to apply. How many of you agree with this? Learning doesn't get you that. You have to apply. That's where you get the results that you want. How many of you agree with this? Can you type yes in the chat for me, please? All of you that agree, can you have me type yes in the chat? Exactly. So that's why, as part of the AAB program, I also provide live trading sessions, okay? Two times live trading session where after you learn, after you enroll, 
the live training session will be in a uh, later part of this month, okay, in, in August. So two times live training session where I want to show you, right, despite this being an e-program, technically, you know, you're supposed to, to be self-directed and all that. But I want to bring the value to the next level by showing you how to apply. And that's where I use my live account. And the students have seen it. I use my live account. I take the trade. And I share with them how to modify, you know, certain things and how do I handle the trade that goes against us. And those makes very good real life application. So it is all practical. It is nothing, you know, uh, just on theory, just academic, which I think is not so not not so nice, lah. So most importantly, the things that we do must be we must be able to apply because if we cannot apply, then we will never have the results that we want. Do you agree with this? If you agree, help me type yes in the chat once again. So that's why you can see this approach, right? What we do is I provide the framework. You have to. Come half the way. La. I go half the way. I streamline the things, make it easy. I lay down red carpet for you. But you have to come half the way. You have to walk. You don't walk it yourself. I can't help it. All right? I can't help you. And, and, and you are not suitable. Right? But if you are willing to walk, but you lack of a framework, if you lack of a know-how, hey, how do I become more consistent? Yeah, whatever Jay mentioned, oh, like holistic point of view, source of stock, currently I still don't have. Like, how do I have this? Well, this is where through the AAP program, you have a chance to discover this and make it part of your routine. And to top this up, to complete your learning experience, once you have learned it, that's where you come for the practical, where we apply it and we'll do it together. And then that's where you get, you get to see the results. Just like how some of the students like Grace, uh, Keith, this is how they get all the, like for example, is it Keith? Uh, AMD was mentioned briefly during the second live trading session and there's a setup right there. So some of the notable uh, some of the notable traits in the last quarter. Like, okay, so just give me give you a summary. Like. When you join today, okay, as part in conjunction together with MarketWise Asia, when you join today, you get the weekly trade ideas. No subscription. Don't care about this. It will be sent to the graduates Facebook group. You will also uh, uh, four times a year at least, okay? It's not like a community whereby you are in and then you do, I don't do follow up and then there's nothing more. Well, this is a lifetime community where I will continuously value add to you at least four times a year, okay? At least four times a year. And uh, the invitation will be sent either to your email or in this uh, via Facebook live here as well. This is what we will do. And as part of the AEP program, and this is inside a portal, you will have access to a trading plan template which helps you step-by-step step plan out the trade. So everything is a very step-by-step step process. It is not a, oh, you look at this, la, then this one, then this one, then this one, oh. then you take it, but huh? What are you talking about? So this is where everything is step-by-step step, and it is designed to help you achieve the consistency. How many of you agree that having something that is step-by-step Having something that is methodical and more systematic, it actually helps you to pick things up clearer and better. How many of you agree with this? Can you type agree in the chat? That's why in the portal, we provide this. All right, I provide this. And then in a live trading session, I use this to share with you how I transpose them into the application. And this is where you will be added to this community of like-minded traders, Facebook group, and this is for a lifetime. So can everyone just once again reiterate this? LT. How many type LT in the chat? Lifetime. There's no subscription or anything. I'm just providing this as extra value for as long as I'm doing this. Okay? So, and despite, uh, some of you may think, hey, Jaya, what if you don't do this next time? Well, as a testament, I closed out my uh, TBBE program enrollment long ago. Uh, two years, close to two years already, and I'm still providing the follow-up to them, all right? Because it is my word, and my word means more than the money, okay? Because my reputation takes years to build, and it, it, it will take just minutes uh, to destroy it, so that's that's not something that I, I want to do. Uh. So some of the notable traits, right, in the last quarter, just to give you an idea what AP is about, we focus on explosive stocks. So explosive stocks like this, like this is Rovian Science, uh, Rovian sciences. This is where, this is where the 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 explosiveness comes about. I am not. I know most people yeah, are thinking uh, uh, I want to capture this whole thing. 
uh, that, that is not what AAP is about. We are looking to find a balance between our exposure because I don't want too long exposure. Then I follow the market up, follow the market down, follow market up, now up, down. That's not what I want. That's not what we want. So I want to balance out the exposure versus the gains. And therefore, using the AEP framework, you can see over here, I'm only capturing these few, you know, just a few days. In this sense, three days. How many percent you make? This is close to 10. Uh, I think it's close to 10%. 841. Yeah, more than 10%. Just in three days. This is the kind of trades that we are looking at. So far, is this clear? If this is clear, can everyone acknowledge this? But help me type EXP, explosive, explosive. That's what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at, oh, wow, wow, I want a whole trend. Uh, no, la, that one, not, not me. La. Find somebody else. La. All right. So this is the, the, uh, the AP. Okay. This is the AP. Uh, what 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 type of trend we are looking at? Uh, we should answer Chin's question. Chin, what's the difference between AAP and TV? Well, looking at this, you can see that the trigger for AAP, the type of trades you are looking at, is a lot more explosive in nature. So yeah, I think I think you should be able to see this. Yeah, because I assume you are asking that because you were in the the TVB program. So I think you can see the difference between uh the type of trades that we are aiming at over here. So this is Owens Corning. All right, this is Owens Corning. Is another one that this one, right, the explosiveness, it just continues on and on. Lah. It just continues on and on. Very rare we will get this. I don't want you to be mistaken that, wow, every trade is like that one. No, this is very rare that a trade, right, just progress, process, process just go up and up and up and up without coming down, you know. This is very rare. But using the framework, we managed to catch it. And this is what the AAP is looking. So our mantra, lah, when it comes to trading, right, it's about winning big and losing small. So over here, you can see it's just a couple of days and that's what we are aiming. So the mantra is to win big and then to lose small. That's the whole idea. Because if you lose big and you win small, then one loss will erase away a few wins and a bit, a bit funny, right? So how many of you agree that this is, if you want to be profitable, this is something that you must adhere to. How many of you agree with this? If you agree, can you type yes in the chats? So win big and lose small. So I don't just want to share with you these few, you know, just this, this, this few, uh, uh, what notable traits. I don't think it's a fair representation. Let me just be very transparent with you as well. I have documented down over here. You can see that this is uh, ever since last year because I want some form of, uh, you know, transparency and accountability. Right? Ever since last year in October, from October onwards, I have been nailing down all the trades. Okay, I've been nailing down all the trades that all the leads that we have sent out. Okay, so you can see this is October. This is the stock itself. Then whether did we take the trade or not? Like N for no, la, then Y for yes. La, whether did we take the trade or not? So this was from last year onwards. And uh, now that we are in August, it's close to one year running. All right. So fast forward to this year. This is the year to date statistics for this year. Year to date statistics. So it is literally every single week, the least, okay, the least that we send out. So every single week over here, we will send out uh, the least over here. Okay. So like this is the least that we send out. You can see 26 June to 30th June, right? Netflix and CMI, right? 26 June to 30th of June, Netflix and CMI. I go to 26 June to 30th of June, which is here, Netflix and CMI. So I'm not plucking all this out of nowhere. Anna. I'm not plucking all this like out of thin air. This is literally all the, every single week, the list that we have sent out. So look at this. Just look at this. Let me give you the, the, the summary over here. Total selection. We selected 63 counters based on the explosive framework, based on industry rotation. I serve these stocks right to you every single week. 63 of them. Those that adhere to the framework and adhere to the setup, it is 46 of them. Those that don't adhere means there is no trade, meaning uh, the thing didn't go in the way that we want. Instead of, you know, the trend going up, right? It didn't, it just continued to head downwards, which we are not in. So that's the beauty of AEP. If the trend continues to head downwards, the last thing you want to encounter as a trader 
it is to get stuck like hey, I in already leh. Well, oh, it is stuck leh. Down, 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 down. Ah, then I think not very, not very nice lah. Ah, the experience is not so nice lah. And I'm sure some of you have experienced this before. So that's why, right? You can see some of the trades that really we follow the rules. It didn't manage to get in. Then, then, then never go in. Ah, then go in ah. So total trades forty six, winning trades thirty seven, losing trades nine. This is for the whole year already. This is twenty twenty three year to date. All right, twenty twenty three year to date, and the win rate that we have it's eighty point four percent. So I was also quite shocked myself. That's just now when Alex say seventy win rate, I'm like, no oh, actually higher leh. This year is really eighty percent leh. So out of every ten trades ah, eight are winning. Ah, uh, some some big wins ah, some some smaller wins lah. Then uh, twenty percent are losses lah. So average win. Remember just now we talk about this. If you want to make money in the long run, you have to win big. Or win bigger lah, and then uh, win your win must be bigger than your losses. So your loss must as small as possible. Lah. So look at this. Every time the AEP framework that we take, right? If you follow the rules, if you use the stop loss, you follow exactly as the framework. All these trades are executed based on the framework. I've not deviated anything from that. So James, good question. Usually my trades last how many days? Lesser than three weeks most of the time. I cannot say 100% of the time, but most of the time is less than three weeks. Sometimes, like for example, ZGN uh, last, last uh, two weeks ago, right? ZGN took me about three, four days. Then he hit the target. Once he hit the target, then, then good. Lah. So most of my trades are within three days to three weeks. Lah. I cannot guarantee you, but it will definitely be, like, be, be within this period. But most of all these trades so far are within this time period. So can everyone acknowledge this? Tell me type number three in the chat. Just let me type number three in the chat, please. So average win, 6.54%. And it's not just one trade, two trade. I'm not selecting, cherry picking. I'm literally showcasing every single selection in this market. All right. Adhering to the rules. Because if it doesn't adhere to the rule, as this student here, they sure flame me on. So all of these are adhering to the rules. You're going to look for the date. You're going to look for the price. You will understand if you're in the AEP program, you will know why the entry price is there. All right. So average win, 6%. Average loss, about 4%. So yeah, you win, you win slightly bigger. Lah. Then you lose, you lose, you lose smaller. Lah. So this year, uh, I, I also taken aback by the consistency of this. Lah. Myself, I also like, what lao eh? Zoom, bo. I also scared. Lah. You see, I, I, I literally like, eh, back to back, eh, all hit. Lah. What lao eh? So yeah, lah, like, like as of late, right? Uh, I, I, I didn't, I didn't go and uh, uh, fill up the, I, I didn't go and go and go and fill up this yet. But this was until 14th of July, uh, before the first summit. So as you can see, uh, the time some of the positions that were open. If you were there, I mentioned, uh, you must have seen this before. I said that the time the positions were open, right? Well, uh, CMI, that was during 26th June to 30th of June. Just to give you an idea. Uh, just to give you an idea over here. Let me just pull up the charts one more time. Okay. CMI. This is CMI. And let me change it to daily. You can see that over here, from 26 June onwards, that's why you got an explosive now, even till today. Okay, there was also another setup here. Okay, there was another setup here, but even till today, it's still hitting. So I'm looking at strong stocks like this. I am not looking at stocks like Tesla, la, all this, la, you know, those are very sentiment driven. La. Huh, Cummings Inc. Never here before. Le. What is this? Ah? Why is my trading view so laggy? Yeah, so that was what we are looking at. And uh, even Netflix, okay, Netflix or APAM, APAM, just to give you an idea, APAM is over here. All these are just recent one, okay. All these are just recent one, uh, over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So weekly now the trading view uh, sometimes sometimes so slow. <laughs> okay lah, basically hang yes over here. So this was earlier. All right, just to give you an idea. APAM, this was 3rd of July to 7th of July. It's at the starting of July over here. So we did caught a very nice run as well. And then he did hit our TP. So all these are the stocks that hit the TP. So the TP is at 42.49. Uh, this is what we are chasing. Like we are getting this kind of few days. One, two, three, 
four, sorry, two, four, nine is five, lah, five days kind of type of trade. Lah. So usually less than three weeks. Lah. And then as of now, you see, uh, after the crave is over, then I think start to drop really all. So that's what we are doing. Lah. This is mainly what we do within the AEP framework itself. So I don't just want to show you all these notable trades, but instead, uh, I think it's only fair that I share with you what the whole, you know, just to be very transparent and hold myself accountable as well. Year to date statistics is this. I can I can quite certain uh, to, uh, to, to, to say this. Uh, some of the communities, you know, they cherry pick, they share you one trade, two trade. For me, it's got win, win, or got lose, lose. Uh. Like for example, I'm not afraid to share with you SQM. That was a loss. Okay. SQM, this was literally a loss. And this loss resulted in about, uh, if you look over here, it's about four, five plus percent. Uh. Okay. If you follow the rules, this appeared in the this 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 appeared to be a loss lah. So the rest of the stocks you go and key in, you can see some quite good movement lah. Like TR TRGP, yeah. Huh? You mean there are stocks that are not Fang stock, tech stock, AI stocks? Still can move on lah. God, ah, you just need to know how to find lah. So what am I looking at for this week? Well, personally, I'm aiming for this one. Uh, this is also a very strong stocks. My fellow AEP community members, strong or not? If you think this is strong, you are still looking, you are still here. Can you help me type strong in the stock, okay, uh, in the chat? So this is what I'm looking. So this is what I will send out like, to, the, to the community. Lo. So WT, uh, good question. Is it a long only, long only stock? No. Uh, as in, do we only go long? The answer is no. Why am I looking at long? Why? Since the starting of year, my bias is long. Ma. That's why, we, you know, when, when I say the point of view, right? We are looking at... We are looking at a uh, strong stock. We are looking at the biased overall view. And the overall bias tells me it's long. Then I still go and short. And isn't, it, it, isn't me looking like, you know, picking pennies in front of a steamroller. So like, you see now, as we talk, right? Uh, the, the, the US side one need to go down. La. Good lah. I mean, long time coming already. La. So this is what you will get yourself into. And sorry, I'm, I'm going to use this time to, to clarify all of this because uh, there were a lot of questions raised and I didn't have time to clarify it. So I wanted to. So uh, as you can see, some this is just some of the students uh, when they took the, the follow the plan, this is what they have. Uh, like Keith, they caught it. Uh, Hong Kui, EW doing AAP moves and they went to take profit. Well, wow, follow the trading plan. Nah. Uh, follow the system. Exited yesterday. It overshot all the resistance. So real traders, real trades as of late. And Arvin, who is here just now, and this is really what what uh, they have encountered, la, what, what they have experienced. That's why they are very nice to write me this, uh, you know, all this, these testimonials as well. So if you were to think about, you know, Jay, is there really no upsell in anything? Don't hear from me. La. I say one time, nobody believe me. Anna. I say 10 times, nobody believe me. Anna. But look at what Alexander uh, posted. This is Aaron. Or I, I call him Aaron. La. So there's no upsell inside the course. The best thing is it does not need you to sit in front of a computer to manage your trade. Is an approachable mentor who responds to your questions very quickly. And yeah, and, and this, this is what he says. Lah. So hear it from them. Hear it from people who have been through this process. Don't hear it from me. Okay. So over here, uh, today, should you enroll, right? Okay. Should you enroll? This is what you will get. I will give you two times plus two times of live trading sessions, which is sometime. Uh, that will be held in August, uh, later, later August, later part of August. If I remember correctly, it's a Tuesday, uh, Tuesday and then a Tuesday. So you will get access to the AAP program. Please don't look at here. Okay, you will get access to the Facebook, uh, you know, the Facebook group where the Facebook group, you will have the weekly trade list. You have all this and you will have the portal where the portal immediately will give you the trading plan. All your learning resources are there. Market update webinars, all these are inside your Facebook group. So the true value comes from being part of this Facebook group because every single week I send out the list to make your life easier. Lah. So this is what you get in conjunction together with MarketWise Asia. And today, right, I'm not even going to charge you, you know, an arm or a leg for this program. For all the value and a lifetime support that I'm giving, I'm giving you a 45% off. Which today, if you enroll, you go to this link, use your QR code and scan. Should you just go to this link, AEPMWA. You use the same promo code. Okay, this, this promo code, MITF, Market Insights Trading Festival, 07, which is July. 2-3 is for this year, 2023. You just use this. Remember to use the promo code, okay? So use this to enroll. You will get a 45% off. Just to give you an idea, this is what you will see. 
please give me a proper email because that's how you receive the login credential from there. That's how you get it. So MITF0723, please remember to apply. Once you apply, it becomes 497, which is a 45% off. And all this value, just one-time price. One-time payment, lifetime value. That's it. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is what I have to share. And, and I'm taking this time to share with your permission. Thank you so much. It's because uh, individually, Alex, myself, we have been receiving a lot of queries. Uh, like, hey, that AJ only mentioned, yeah, I was still a little unsure. There are some questions that I... You know, he didn't really showcase all that much. So today I'm taking this time to really showcase in greater detail so that you understand the, the value that you'll be receiving, the things that you'll be getting. Lah. So, and and I, I'm now, I, I will answer the questions now. Okay, so if you have any questions, uh, Alex, back to you. Okay, I'm back. So yes, right now it is 9.39, okay, 9.40. The US market has already opened. Okay, so as promised, right, we will go through some Q and A. Okay, so I, I mean that. Okay, let's. Okay, I, I see one um question from just the uh, chat first. Uh, so Ting Sing is asking, right? Uh, newbie, no broker can join with step by step guide. You want to yes, that? yes. Thank you. Uh, thank uh, thank Tin for uh for asking the question. Uh, for new traders, yes. If you do not have a broker. Um, I can inside the portal, right? I do introduce a few, you know, a few brokers, uh, that has access to the US stocks, uh, via the CFDs that we are doing, and then for you to choose, lah. Uh, my style is I don't need you to oh must trade with this broker, don't have to, but I introduce to you a few, and then you take it from there, and you just decide which one is is good for you, lah. So that's my style, and as long as you have access to the market that we are trading, it's good enough. Okay, you don't have to use like a specific broker. So uh, newbie, no broker can join. Yes, uh, I do start from the, you know, how to how to approach the market, how you break down the market. Because the market is like one big cake, right? If I want you one big cake, I want you one mouthful and eat it. it, it, it chances are you can't squeeze it down. So what I do is I turn it into slices. So when I cut it into slices, you are able to digest it and follow the step, step by step. Lah. Yeah, so is it a step by step guide? Yes. Uh, all the instructions are within the portal of which they are all there. Okay, so let's maybe proceed to the Q&A tema. So I think that there are quite a number of questions there. So hmm. we ask you to ask there. So we have to answer the question there. Yes. Okay, so so okay, I, I think I saw two questions on this, uh, how to track the uh, fund flow Okay, by Patrick and also the uh, how do you track the money flow by hmm. Kelly. Okay, so one of the ways, right, visually, like, if you want to track the, the funds flow or the, the, the rotation, right, uh, let me just put this to one side first. One of the ways that you can do it very easily or visually, right, is that I always go and look at uh, from a top-down behavior. So this is something that I shared inside the lesson four of the, of the, uh, the AAP program. Uh, but over here, right, just to give you a broad idea, is to have an overview of what is the market doing right now? And this one screen that you are seeing on screen here, it tells me what the 11 sectors of the market are doing. So at one view, I'm able to see what are the sectors that are running up? What are the sectors that are coming down? And which one fulfills the criteria? So in this case, right uh, right now, okay? So right now, uh, I'm looking at industrials. To give you a few, to give you a broad idea, if you are seeing industrials, right? Uh, I think this is one of the stocks in industrial that is now possessing a very nice movement. My AEP students, you should be able to see that this is a very nice uptrust. What you are just waiting is for the RB, the RB to come. Okay, this is the next one. This is one to come. Um, you still have uh, for example, this one, this one. Yeah, see, this is this is strong. Uh, I mean, that's on weekly. Let me change your daily. Yeah, this is what is strong. Then uh, Boeing for daily. Uh, this is where you got the reverse. The reverse bar is over there. The setup is there already. So these are the stocks that I focus on. How do I know this? Maintain a bird eye view. Visually see that which one is kind of side, which one tui already, which one really hit the fan already, and which one is still sustaining. I think this gives you an idea. And of course, in the, the AEP program, I take this to the next step. Lah. I help you how to you know, break it down step by step over here. All right. 
So uh yeah, so that's 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 the this this AEP program and uh okay. so maybe you can answer a few questions that's uh non-related to the course first before we answer the course related question. Uh. So just we uh, I hope to answer some of these you know uh, market question. Okay, yes, a few questions here. So by by the way, okay, by the way, guys, uh, if you guys can also upvote the question. If you really want Jay to answer some of these questions, you can upvote. There's a thumbs up button there. You can upvote, okay? Or you want people to answer the question, just upvote. Huh? Okay, so I, I see, I see um, by Wing On, okay, Liu Wing On here, okay? The decision to downgrade the US credit rating, I think the news was I think yesterday or today, right? Yes. From its highest level. What, what do you think is the impact to the US market in the near term? Uh okay, previously it was like triple A, now become AA plus. Then uh okay, in terms of uh the downgrade, right? I don't think uh number one, the straightforward impact is not on the market itself, but the straightforward impact, right? If I were to look at it, it is from let's say you look at the, the dollar index. Uh, so this is dollar index futures, and then uh this is the DXY. Then obviously, uh if you are looking at Forex, for example, right, Euro USD, this is where uh we are seeing some strength in the US dollar. And usually this also, if you if you were to look at the intermarket analysis, the rising strength of a US dollar usually coincides with the pulling back of the US market. Somehow it is like that. The, the relationship is, is uh, co correlated in this way. So this is where you can see the, the US dollar has been gaining strength over there. Does it really uh, affect the long-term, uh, you know, the long-term behavior uh, to the stock market in the near term? Okay, in the near term, does the upgrade downgrade, uh, what, what is the implication? Well, in the near term, right, this is what it is. In the near term, I am expecting a knee jerk, which in this knee jerk, you can see that people are just, oh, okay, lo. Uh, this is one of the reasons. Tomorrow you see the headline, you'll say, oh, because of the downgrade, that's why you see the market drop. But in the long term, it still comes back to this. The market is supported by what? The, sub, the market is still supported or asset prices, right? Despite whatever people may say, they are supported by money supply. And the fact is that the money supply right now uh, is still much higher than what it was before. And it is slated to, to contract a little bit uh, for now because they want to they want to still increase the interest rate, reduce the, the, the money supply in the market. So looking at money supply M2, it is still on a credit contraction cycle. And this is, I would say, a more direct impact has a more direct impact on the market overall from a broad term point of view rather than the downgrade itself la. and and yeah so this is this is what i think la. and for me right uh personally i usually don't look at like long 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 term because i'm not an analyst i i'm not paid to you know have to have a report uh i am paid by taking the trades so yeah the knee jerk reaction this is what you're facing now i think in the near term we will still fall to the ta levels that will eventually tell us whether the prices are cheap or expensive and whether the market participants can accept these prices. Yeah. That's, that's okay, that. So thanks, uh, Jay, for the answer. And Darius asked a very interesting question in the Q&A tab. So ever since the roughly third week of May, okay, the market has been topish, which means that there was no viable entry and I had to sit on the side while the market just went all the way up, is there any way to enter a market like that? Were there any entries that I missed? Before I answer that, okay, the answer is very simple. You need the AP. <laughs> Carry <laughs> on. All right. There. Third week, uh, third week of May. Uh. Well, uh, okay, let me, I, I specifically zoom into third week of May onwards and show you. Uh. Third week of May is 15, right? So from here to here. So from here to here, let me highlight it to yellow. Okay. So with these, right? Let me zoom out like that. Easier for you to see. Uh, do we have a trade? Yes, 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 yes. Of all the trades here, uh, we don't have two. Three losing. The rest are winning. So uh, the market has been topish. Well, if you look at TA point of view, maybe it's topish. But from a breath ratio point of view, only until recently, then it is really stretched, really extended. Uh, and despite so, when it's extended, doesn't mean I, I, I got, got frozen in limbo. I don't do anything. I become more selective with the selection. That's that's what we do lah, or rather that's what I do lah. So yes, there are some losses, there are some some winnings, but I think it's fair enough lah. Yeah. 
So hopefully I've answered your question, Darius. Uh, Alex cannot hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> no battery already. <laughs> I see you. I see you moving your hand. I'm like, <laughs> what are you doing? Can hear me? Can hear me? Yes, 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 yes. And, uh, okay, so I, I think I think what he 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 meant is that you know uh the index you might look high. This is your opinion, but you know mm. there are always uh individual stocks out there. You know they present uh opportunities and chances, and I think this is where the AEP uh will help you. As I as mentioned by Jay, okay, I'm also inside uh, So you know we know certain stocks that is continue to go higher and such. Uh. so I I hope uh there is that answer uh your question. Okay, mm. and okay, um, maybe Jay, you want to see any other question in the QA or somewhere in the chat chat that you want to answer personally yourself? Uh okay, so let me see. Uh, uh Martin, you can answer it uh, later for the program after one year. Would there be monthly subscription <laughs> renewal for the weekly trade list? <laughs> okay, so, I will answer answer. I answer for you because I'm inside also. <laughs> yes so the answer is lifetime so it's a one-time fee so there is no money subscription there's no renewal fee okay at home market updates all these are inclusive so it's a one-time fee of 497 <laughs> i think i always answer this question for jeff because always people ask the same uh question again and again huh? <laughs> people don't believe so people don't believe so, so uh, Adrian, what is the investment amount we need to join the course? Uh, okay, I think it's the investment. You, I, I think you are asking about the investment amount to start lah. Not, not the 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 amount to join the course is four nine seven Singapore dollars. Uh, relatively affordable. It's not even. It's it's like barely a not even a Starbucks a day kind of thing. So, uh, if let's say lah, you have um my my advice is at least uh with five thousand equivalent sing dollars okay at least five thousand equivalent then i think this will be more suitable uh for your trading account for you to trade because if you don't even at five thousand right for stocks is a little hard to be honest to be honest then maybe this is not this is not suitable for you because uh the stocks nowadays it can be expensive even with some form of leverage uh a smaller account you know the 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 commissions will take out a large part also so it's it's really a bit harder so my advice or my recommendation is at least five thousand for you to kickstart, uh, that will be easier. Anything lesser than that, it will be a squeeze, lah, to be very honest with you, okay? Not that, you know, well, I want you to sign and all that, and I tell you, oh, $1 also can, 500 also can. Really a bit hard, really a bit hard. Okay, so there is, uh, sorry, Adrian, hopefully I've answered the question. Uh, James, which broker I use for shorting? Uh, any CFD broker that is regulated? Uh, those I, I because I got a few. I have IG, I have Philip Securities, I got CMC. I, I use a few of them to shop uh for, for CFDs. Lah. And I also got TD Ameritrade. Yeah, so each got their pros and cons. Lah. There's like no one best broker, but each got their pros and cons. All right. Mm. So by the way, can you guys hear me? Can you I change my I think my wireless mic is uh no battery no already. Uh, anyway, I in conjunction with the IG. Market Insight Training Festival, you all take so many free gifts from IG now, okay? Uh, trade, 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 trade with them now, okay? Uh, yeah, mm. anyway, IG is also one of the CFD broker. You can also trade with them. Of course, uh, like what Jay mentioned, uh, it is not any uh, broker specific, uh, as long as it provides CFD or you no, know, even like trade diary, like TDM merchant, all this, you can trade, okay? No issue on that, yes. right? So, oh, by the way, I think just now, is it Kai said that you mentioned about uh, USD 497. No, it's Sing Dollars 497. Uh. Yeah, Sing Dollar, Sing Dollar. Sing S Dollars, uh, 497, uh. 497, okay. Sing Dollar. <laughs> so, Kelly, is the live trading session recorded? Yes. All virtual sessions, uh, even for live, yes, it is recorded and it will be sent out to your email, okay? So, if you miss once, you will be invited back for the next round. So, definitely recorded. Uh, you, you will not be shortchanged or missed out or anything. So yeah, rest rest assured that. Um, I think um Octavia Norman, ha you have a very good question. What's the advice for new trader not making any profits yet? Number one, um, I think it's good to have a framework, a methodology first. So first, you must understand the methodology. What are we actually focusing on? And then you have to trial and error. All right, you have to trial and error. So I I'm not saying that you must sign up for my program or anything. Even if you do something that is on YouTube online, uh, just try to understand the rationale behind it and then try to do some, uh, you know, try to do some, some trial and error and testing out like, in, in, in life, uh, you know, on, on a maybe 
paper account, paper trading, you test it out first. Then you know that, eh, how come is, whether is it exactly like what you have been presented or not exactly like what it has been presented. So for me, right, in order for me to maintain this uh, accountability and transparency, that's why I keep all the selection, right? Every single week, the selection is there. The entry price is there. The exit is there. It's more like a journal for me as well. So Chris, in the program, do you teach how to scan for stocks? Uh, okay, I I share with you in the program how to build up the watch list, how to have a you know a top down approach to build up the watch list. Not specifically using any scanner or sort. I don't use the scanner, but more so I have a watch list. It's just like the market is so big, right? So diverse, so big, like a one big pizza, right? So we are slicing into smaller chunks so that we can be eaten so that it's more digestible. Lah. Yeah. So Chris, thank you for your question. Uh, DH, my view on Disney currently and upcoming earnings. Uh, first and foremost, I don't know anything about the earnings as in Disney, right? Uh, whether is it going to be good, no good? Uh, honestly, I nobody can tell you. Lah. That anybody can tell you that that one is a god already. Lah. We are all humans. I can't, right? Um, my view on Disney is that uh, if there's if if from my understanding of Disney, usually you know just now I mentioned uh, T A, F A, then time cycle analysis or C A, then uh, S A, right? Uh, all I can share with you is T C A. Ah, time cycle analysis. Now is not the time for Disney. Usually is, uh, November onwards. So yeah, if if that helps, all right. Um, Kelly, TOS allows CFD. Uh, no. So CFD brokers, uh, they will have CFD. Uh, TOS thing or swim doesn't have. Thing or swim only have uh the options and as well as the underlying share. So both are but fine. You both still fine. can short, uh, but you still can short yes. and buy. Uh, so no issue on that. Uh, so it doesn't matter in a way. Yeah. Yes. Oh, by the way, just to let you know, in the US, uh, CFD is not allowed. Uh. So US broker, they do not have CFD. That's why you see that a lot of these uh, CFD broker, they are, they are not from the US. Mm. It's like, for example, uh, CMC is from the UK, IG is from the UK as well. Okay, just yeah. a general knowledge. Huh? Okay, but it is fine. You can still go long or go short using a QS. Yes. Okay, I think we kind of answer all the Q&A tech question. Any last question for the course? Okay, I once again, I will post the link in the uh, comment. Okay, 45% mm. off. Remember to use the coupon code, okay? Yes. 497 sing dollars, a one-time fee. And there will be uh, two live yes. trading session, right? Uh, I think yes. maybe Jay didn't write that, but there will be two live bonus trading session just for this, you know, uh, Market Insight Trading Festival Booster Webinar for all the students. Uh. Yes. And the coupon code will be valid until the end of this uh, Sunday la, because we know that there will be some people who will be watching this replay as well. So until uh, Sunday. Mm. Okay. Any other question, you can just, you know, um, um, your system in the chat box. Uh, James, yeah, there's one question in the text, uh, in the Q&A tab. Maybe you want to answer that. Yeah, okay. is it does it work better on CFD or option? Uh, actually, to be honest, no difference because your CFD is on the underlying stock. Your option is also on the underlying stock. My focus is on the underlying stock. Uh, so let me give you an analogy. It's just like having a plate of rice. Do you want to use a chopstick to eat it or do you want to use a fork to eat it or do you want to use a spoon to eat it? So when, when you're talking about CFD options or even futures on underlying stock, those are the instruments. It's just like utensil. Oh, it can be a chopstick. It can be a fork. It can be a... So which one is more suitable? Well, depending on which one you are well-versed in, that's one. Uh, but my focus is, how do I find this plate of rice first? How do I get this bowl of noodle so that I got something to eat? Uh, that's the focus of the, the, the framework that I'm using, the AEP framework. So you want to use CFD? No problem. You want to use options? No problem. You can, but the main focus is on the stocks. Get the stocks right. The instrument will take care by itself. All right? So... Uh, I, I don't understand the question by Gary. Uh, trade size for AP it depends on your account. Lah. So, so uh, inside the program where I will have the trading plan, inside the trading plan, I will also share with you how to derive to a position size that is relative to your account size so that you don't over trade. There is a certain risk that's been kept over there. So if, if that's what you're asking. Lah. Thanks, Gary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for so for Gary, maybe maybe you're asking that US stock you can even trade one stock. So yeah. So you can trade very small, you can trade because unlike Singapore stocks, there's lot sizes for US, you can just trade one share. Um, mm. so I think that is fine as well. Okay, uh yeah, I think that's all for today's session. I think there is uh, not much question already. So I 
for those who are new to Jay, okay, I really hope they can join this, you know, um, e program, the art of explosive profits, because we are all inside. Okay, so let's make money from the stock market together. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so one, once again, we emphasize one time fee. Uh, uh, don't need to keep asking us <laughs> one time fee, lifetime, okay, 497. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, yes. Any last words for the audience, uh, Jay? Uh, trade safe. The market is rather extended. Enjoy the ride and have a sound, you know, framework to to enjoy the remaining three months of the market. Lah. So we are in for a rougher ride in these next couple of weeks. So hang on tight, stay safe, you know, trade safe and don't over trade. That's the key. Okay. And you will see Jay inside the AEP course. 497, use the coupon code and that's all for tonight. And once again, thank you for joining us for this uh, special booster webinar. So have a good evening, have a good night and we will see you guys again very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye.